Welcome to part two of my tutorial series on how to create multiplayer games and experiences for the Oculus Rift. Uh, this wasn't supposed to be a series, but it's kind of turned into one because a bunch of people have been asking how to do voice chat. And we, we have a pretty good system working that's pretty easy, so I thought I could make a quick tutorial on it. Uh, my name's Hayden Lee. I'm a developer at Converge, which is a virtual world built specifically for the Oculus Rift. And I'm going to show you exactly how we use voice chat in Converge. This is uh, DF Voice. This is the plugin that we use. You can just go to the Unity Asset Store and uh, buy it. I believe it's $30. Yep, $30 right here. Definitely worth it. Makes things uh, super easy. Uh, we're actually going to be using the same system that we used in the last tutorial on uh, how to do photon networking and uh, how we implement DF Voice is actually going to use Photon to, to transfer the, the data over the network and then DF Voice handles the encoding and decoding that you don't want to have to deal with yourself. So it makes things very easy. What you'll end up with is a system like you can see here. So you can see there people communicating in a virtual world uh, with 3D audio. So you c these uh, these characters can look left and right and see who's and or they can hear who's talking. Uh, and so yeah, that's what we'll end up with. I'm still using the Unity game engine, obviously, and I've imported into my scene DF Voice uh, from the Asset Store, the Oculus plugin, the Photon plugin, and. There we go. The only thing new I've done since the end of the last tutorial is install or import DF Voice. So let's get right into it. So we only need to create one script for this for this to work. We're gonna, so we're going to create one C sharp script. Let's call it my local voice controller. And I'm using Visual Studio as my IDE. So this is already synced up. Here's the script, the script we just made. And here's the script I prepared earlier. There we go. So I'm copying that, but I'll walk through it right now for you. So it extends a, cl it extends a class uh, made by uh, DF Voice, I believe. This, yeah, uh, so yeah, this is in the Daikon Forge library that you've included. Uh, it's, what does it do here? So, basically what it does is uh, every so often, uh, so many, many times a second, it will encode data uh, from your microphone. It'll call this function, which in turn, this function wraps up the data into this encoded frame, as you can see right here, and then sends it as a remote procedural call or an RPC using Photon to send the data over to all the other players in the room. And then at the other end, once it gets received, this RPC gets called here, I've just named it VC, and it uh, just basically gets that data and then pack packages it up into another DF Voice uh, uh, class and runs that runs the DF uh, DF Voice code for decoding the voice chat. And then I've added a couple of other functions here. Most of this code is just from the kind of DF Voice tutorial, but I've added some other little functionality here where I can see when this this controller was last talking, and I just basically just see when was the last time they were talking uh, or encoding data and then is that uh, or how long ago was that and if it was in within 100 milliseconds then I uh, then they're currently talking so this is how I can work out uh, I believe we use this what do we use this for in Converge this is only on the local this isn't actually sent over the network so this is used for uh, in a menu you can see if you're talking or not um, so it kind of gives you some feedback so you know if your mic's working. Okay, so just save that. I'll include all this code in a uh, in a gist after, or gist, I'm not sure how GitHub pronounces the G-I-S-T. I guess it's gist, gist, whatever. Um, I'll, 
I'll include this in uh, on our blog and in the comments and stuff. Okay, so now that we've created that script, we just have to include three different components on our player prefab that we made in the last video. So I've got the photon view, the networked player that handled the movement uh, synchronization. So let's add, first of all, let's add that my local voice controller. It looks like here we can move, we need to use the photon view as that, that public field there. You can also mute and debug. If you click the debug audio, it's going to play back the audio to yourself. So pretty useful for debugging. Okay, next thing is an audio source, just the standard Unity audio source. Uh, this is a this is a definitely a needed thing here. This this took me a while. This is a new thing in Unity five. This slider here, but you can uh, you want to make sure this is on the three D um, side if you want that that effect that we have in Converge, where you can as you move further away from a character, it gets quieter and quieter, just like in the real world. And then you can actually adjust that curve here, so it gets quieter and quieter. This is just a logarithmic. Uh, roll off, but you can change it to a linear, so it just li linearly gets quieter and quieter, um, and you can you can even uh, adjust that yourself. Um, so yeah, definitely suggest playing around with that a bit. Uh, that's that's pretty good. All the other settings are good. Okay. All right, and now the third plugin that or a component that we have to add is the unity audio player okay and in this one we want to make sure that we click is three-dimensional so this is pretty much it uh, it's it's pretty easy and this is this is uh, this is all it takes so I'm going to build a build a version of this. I'm just going to click, or I'm going to turn on this prefab because it's in the hierarchy right now. Click apply, turn it off again. Just play it so make sure there's no bugs. Okay. Ooh, no audio component attached to this speaker. That is not good. Okay, one thing I forgot to add and why we're seeing an error for the no audio input detected was there needs to be a microphone input device component on the player as well. So, yeah, so add that. This is where you can change the push to talk button if you want one. I believe if you just say none, it'll just, uh, it'll just always talk. Uh, and you can also change the threshold so if it's always talking or even if you're holding it down it may not actually transmit any audio data uh, if uh, if you're not saying anything um, and it'll only it'll only transmit if you're talking basically um, we tried that out a little bit with converge for one day and everybody hated it so we uh, we just have push to talk we just use spacebar so that's all groovy So let's try and play again, see if we get no errors. Woot woot. No errors. Okay, so now I'm going to try and compile and uh, build a build and open up to and see if it will work with two, uh, two clients. Oh, this screwed up again. Okay, I might. I will just pause the tutorial and I'll have another look at this. See why this is happening. Okay, I was able to find the error. I actually found it really quickly. I know this took me many hours the first time I solved it, but the issue why it's coming up with this compilation error is when you build, you have to make sure in your player settings 
Uh, then in the inspector, this these kind of uh, options come up for the different uh, platforms you can build to. Uh, go to the bottom one, which is other settings. And here where it says API compatibility level, it's by default, it's on .NET 2.0 subset and you need to change it to uh, .NET 2.0. And that'll solve the issue. Okay, now we can build. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to test this is open up a instance of the build. And I'm gonna press play on the Unity scene as well. And what I should be able to do is, ooh, is talk to the other player when I press spacebar. So, and I should be able to hear it. I should be able to hear myself. Okay, test one, two. Yes, it's actually worked on the first go. <laughs> okay, so I'm in one build and I'm hearing myself through the other build. And what's kind of interesting is you can actually, I hope this is getting transferred into the video, but you can actually hear the video or the audio out of your left ear right now and then when I turn oh, when I turn and keep talking can you hear it out of the right ear oh I've got to move over to this side of the cube there you go so it matters yeah because I'm hearing it out of the cube I'm looking at in the left kind of confusing but uh yeah but right now you should be able to hear me out of your right ear and if I move over here gonna go behind you and then to the left ear and then keep going back around okay so that's voice chat in unity using uh, DF voice U unity plugin uh, if you have any questions feel free to email me at Hayden at converge.co uh, our web uh, my emails or you can contact us on our website converge.co I'm sure you can find our email address here and I would love to hear any other suggestions of uh, a future tutorial series on how to do different aspects of creating a multiplayer game or experience with the Oculus Rift. Take care.